Hello everybody and welcome to a heat video. This one is going to be focused on building with timber building pieces. Last time I played I didn't really get to get into the building past logs. So I'm going to be using this thing, it's called a rampart, and I think usually it's used for defenses around the border of your property, but I'm going to try and use it instead for a barn. I'm going to use two ramparts together. So this is what one looks like, and I really want it facing this way because I have a plan for my setup once I build my house. And the other one is going to have to link into it. And once I put both of these down, I can put um, the regular building pieces, so like walls and windows. But, oh, this is kind of finicky. Come on. I need the, the two pillars to snap perfectly together. It worked before. Gotta try this. Come on. <laughs> this is what I mean by heat is finicky. There we go. Okay. So... Anyway, what I can do now is put walls and windows on this, and as you can see, it has two doors, so an entrance and an exit to the barn. It's not really that big. I thought maybe it would be a little bit bigger on the inside, but anyway, now we can go ahead and put some windows, so kind of like stall windows. I realize I'm probably not going to be able to fit stalls in here, but wishful thinking. And I think this is actually on a slope. The ground isn't flat, so there might be a difference in the sides of this thing. So yeah, look, there's a gap on this side. When I think it's on flat land, there is no gap there. So that's kind of interesting that the uh, height of the structure varies depending on the ground you put it on instead of it snapping to that terrain. But I think I can just put some fence posts in here, um, some timber fencing. I'm gonna stick mainly with timber. I might do a few things with logs to make it look a little bit better, but actually pretty pleased that that fits well because every good barn needs some ventilation, right? Things might get a little stinky. Um, so this side looks like it's a little bit higher, so maybe there won't be that gap. Yeah, it does not look like there's that gap there. So we could just go ahead and put these walls up here. I'm curious to see once I build out all of these frames if those pillars, those log pillars, are still going to be there once the rampart is completed. I don't know. I've never completed one of the, these things. I just put it down to kind of see what one of them would look like, and then now I've started over. And I didn't notice that up there. That might make building a roof a little bit difficult. I'm not even sure if a roof will snap to the top of this. So I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. As I predicted, this is being a little bit of a problem. I've had to delete and redo a few times. The peak of the roof is not wanting to set up. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to go back and like fix the way I do this barn. Um, but that's okay, because then we can have a part two of remodeling the barn and it'll be great. I'm just hoping I can get this to snap. I'm going to try to make an overhang here, but I have issues when I build in heat. The buildings end up- that's not supposed to be there. Um, the buildings end up looking a little bit blocky, but I think that's because the size of the building pieces are rather big. You'll see what I mean when I'm done, but if you look at my little storage shed over there, it's also pretty blocky, so let's see if this works. So I'm finding in heat that sometimes you have to put pieces down and then go back and delete them, which will allow you to then add extra pieces. So what I'm going to do is put down these roof pieces and then delete them and try and put a ledge on that. Let's see if this works. I just deleted the uh, flat piece and now we'll see if the ledge can pop in here. It really should. Come on. Yes. Okay. 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 So now I just need to delete this bad boy and then put another ledge in and then we will have kind of like a sloping roof which I think is going to end up working really well. I'm not actually going to like come up here, I think, because I just want this to be a barn for the horses. I'm going to have plenty of storage in my house when I make it, but I'm really surprised that this works. It's totally going to be lopsided, but whatever. And to fill in these gaps, I'm going to use more of the fence pieces, I think, if I can get them to actually fit in here. I'm hoping they will. That looks like it'll fit. Sweet. And then the second one should fit right on top of it, and we'll be good to go. It's just about nighttime, so I'm glad we're getting all the little minutiae out of the way and we can go and do some of the bigger stuff, like putting the timber on this thing, but... Oh, that looks so lopsided, Wispa. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, maybe if we throw some pillars on here, it'll look a little bit better, maybe? <laughs> if the pillars work. Sometimes the pillars won't go all the way into the ground, but um, I might have to move them closer to the edge of the roof in order to get them to go all the way to the ground, but I have a feeling it's not gonna work. Come on, let me put one more here, please. No, it's not gonna let me do that. So yeah, at some point I'm gonna have to move those around. Definitely gonna be doing a part two of refurbishing and redoing the barn. 
think that's going to be a big hit. So I took a bit of a risk using these ramparts instead of using the foundations and basic building materials. So I'm wondering if maybe I could do a bigger barn for like general livestock, not just horses. And then we can compare and contrast how the two look. Um, I might even be using ramparts when I make my house. I'm not really sure yet, but look at these. They go right into the ground. So I'm going to put my mining hat on. This is a new feature that was added in one of the patches. It brightens up the nighttime. It actually looks really nice. Uh, covers the ground really well, but oh, this thing is so lopsided. You guys are going to have to send me screenshots of your builds in heat uh, so that I can see how to build in this game. Since we are building with timber, I figured I would show you the process of getting timber. So I'm loading up on timber right now, but what this thing is, is it's a sawmill. And it's not on right now because it needs charcoal, so I would drag the charcoal in and then put raw wood in here and turn it on along with some water, which you can right click on a container to put pieces of water in and um, it will make timber for you. It's fairly quick actually. So it's not that bad to make timber. You just go out, harvest a little. But anyway, here's what it looks like to actually build. You left click with your hammer. And as you can see, we now have a timber wall. And actually the, the uh, rampart looks pretty good. I've never seen the timber texture before. And something I wanted to mention actually while I do this is that the developers are using 3D photo scanned um, textures and materials, which is probably why the optimization in this game is a little bit rough for some people because it is so highly detailed. But this is actually turning out really nice. The, the lopsidedness may not even matter because the beauty of the timber might cover it up. Still definitely going to go back and redo it though. I think it's kind of cool. It's like DIY projects, like improving the house, improving the barn. And there really is something so relaxing about building in this game. It's really cool to see each individual building piece come to life. And like, I could reach that just by doing, just by aiming at it. I could reach it from all the way down here. So you don't have to build scaffolding all the way up there. So I don't know. I'm really enjoying it. I'm really glad Heat came back with updates because I love the time period this is set in. I love the way the game looks. Okay, yes, speaking of how the game looks, this is starting to actually look like a barn. My little slats on the side look pretty good. And now I am out of timber. So definitely gonna have to go get some more. So, okay, here's a closer look at the timber. So I'm gonna drag the wood in here. And then after I have filled up some stacks of wood, I'm gonna drag the charcoal into the fuel slot. You can only use charcoal to fuel this thing. So there we go, there's charcoal. And then I already have water in there, but as I said, you can right click on a water container and put the individual pieces of water in. So as you can see, the red bar is filling up and after a short amount of time, we will have some timber in the empty slot. I went on a bit of a skill shopping spree and I bought the timber rampart gates so that we can put some doors on our barn. And I was looking at windows, but I don't think they're compatible with the timber. So I need to actually go and research the timber windows, which I do not have enough money or timber for. So we're just going to go and put the doors on for now and see how those look. I've heard a rumor that they don't line up very well with the rampart itself. So I'm really hoping we're not. Yep. See? See that gap? Yeah, that's not going to work at all. I'm going to have to figure a way out around this because a gap like that is going to drive me absolutely nuts. Here's our door, ladies and gentlemen, equipped with a pretty big gap, but it does look nice with the timber rampart. I just need to figure out a way to make it look better. So when there is a gap, har har, what do you do with it? You fill it. So I think this might work. It's going to look a little weird in the end, but we'll make it work. So now, hopefully when I open this, we will no longer see a gap on this side. And I can go ahead and make like a little awning over this so that it doesn't look quite as awkward. I don't know how I'm going to manage the inside, but we're just going to have to wait and see. This whole project, it's, it's a learning experience. Yeah, that was way too big, but the ledge might look, please? Yes? Okay. All right, all right, all right. This is not bad. We might be actually making this work. I wish we could make it more like a door frame as opposed to like a full on expansion outwards, but I think we're actually going to be able to make this work. So these ramparts, they, they kind of have another problem and it's the gap in the floor. So I'm going to see if I can put a ledge in here to like get rid of that gap because that just doesn't make sense to me and it's not going to work. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There's these, um, they're called foundation stairs. They're in the foundation section and maybe they'll fit. They will. 
I think we just solved the problem. I think we just solved the whole problem with the gaps and the doors and the ramparts. Um, I just need to make it look polished in the end. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. This is cool. Okay, here's what our mad creation is looking like after all this. It looks really big and bulky, but when you look at it from the side, it doesn't look that bad, right? I think I could definitely go back and refine the roof, which I'm definitely going to end up doing, but it does look like a functional barn. And here is the food trough. I don't know if I like it there though. I'm trying to make these little wings work that we put in. I'd rather just put it right in the middle over here because that makes more sense to me since I'm not going to be able to make stalls anyway because of how wonky the rampart gates were, but I have a water trough too. Where is it? There it is. So we'll have food and water in here. And once I put these down, I think I have enough hay to keep this kind of full. I don't have any animals yet, so the hay will just will just wait in here until I can go tame a horse. And then the water is actually kind of interesting. You basically just take a bucket and put the bucket full of water in the water trough. And that's how they deal with hunger and thirst. So all the barn really needs now is some polish. And I have some fencing that I built um, to see if I could keep a horse and it's in the back over there. I'm going to try and grab some of it and put it around to maybe try and make it look a little more varnish. And to get rid of fences like these, you just right click with your building hammer and they will pop back into your inventory. They each act as an individual building piece. They weigh you down kind of quickly though. But anyway, here's what it's looking like with a few fences. Definitely makes it look a little bit better. I actually really like the fences. They're, they're just easy to use, unlike other uh, Wild West games I've played. So there we go. I hope you all have enjoyed this learning process I've been going through as I learn how to build in heat. The next step is going to be to bring horses in. I'll probably end up doing a taming video on how to tame horses. I actually saw a few running out back that way. So I might go ahead and try and get that done pretty quickly. But I think what I'm going to try and do is turn this into a transformative kind of building process. So a video in the future will be going back and refining the barn. I did draw a little poster on the side of a horse. I just thought it was a cute thing. But I think when the server saves or restarts, it goes away. Thank you so much for watching. As always, the links to my socials are in the description box down below. I hope you all have been enjoying your games and I will see you all in the next video.